We started out today, it was a wonderful beginning with a men's breakfast, and uh, a lot of guys in the house ready just to hear what the Lord wants to accomplish in and through their lives, and so I'm grateful for that as well. Great start for the day. Just welcoming you here and, and, the, and our Facebook friends as well. Boy, to say uh, it was an exciting time to look at children uh, coming into the building and, and having this time in Vacation Bible School. That's always a wonderful, wonderful thing. But now it seems like it's even more imperative than it's ever been. You know, watching VBS. We've watched it for years in and through the building, even when we were at the other building on Friar. And, uh, and the effort that goes in is amazing that all these people come together and do all these different things and you see characters dress up uh, for the children and uh, it's an amazing thing. They really enjoy it. But the important thing is today, uh, this is a different world we live in than the one that uh, even a decade ago. Amen? And, and we're seeing a rapid change uh, happening and as a result of that, it's a motivating factor to, to get real and understand uh, what we're really up against. And so we've been talking, and, and this week I really felt like I got into the, the spirit of what was going on, but I really liked to work in, in relation to the theme, what we were working with, and we started uh, in creation, uh, in God being almighty creator. It's an amazing reality, and I don't think we get our mind wrapped around that very often. We get in the middle of everything that uh, floods into our lives, and as a result, we find ourselves maybe disillusioned as to who he is in relation to who we are, in the midst of the mess around us. Uh, and the reality of it is, of course, is that uh, God has got us on the scene with a purpose. We had some scriptures that I used during the week, and I I thought it would be interesting to get started tonight and just touch on a few things uh, that head us off in the right direction. We, we talked in VBS, we talked about God being the creator and, and that the, his creation shows his majesty. And when you think of that, that's supreme authority, his power, right? Speaking about creation itself and uh, what he spoke into existence, an amazing an amazing thing because we don't speak things into existence, do we? But God did. And the reality of that uh, gets out of focus at times, and we don't realize that part of this whole uh, speaking into existence had to do with the entirety of the journey uh, here on planet Earth, and uh, it had a beginning date, and of course it'll have an end date, and we're going home to a place called heaven, amen? Amen. We don't think about that very much because we feel invincible until something, of course, happens and it gets our attention. Uh, and then sometimes we do. We think, oh, well, you know, uh, one day, one day, you know, I'll, one day I'll meet my maker. And a lot of times we, we have a disillusioned uh, concept of that. We think we'll meet our maker. And uh, Brother Dave was just talking today about one of the, the typical things we hear. Um, through our food pantry is that, that God and I, we have an understanding. And I've heard Brother Dave straighten that out and said, no, you have a misunderstanding. Because you understand that God is creator and he gives the perimeters. We don't. And so one day you meet your maker, right? And then we talked, of course, that God is the designer and we talked about him uh, and us as his creation. I just want to share a scripture one of the scriptures that I shared during the week is Psalm 139, verse 13 through 18 says this, For you created me in my innermost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place. When I was woven together in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before the first one of them came to be. How precious are your thoughts, God. How vast the sum of them. Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. Boy, an amazing thing that the maker, the creator of all things, knew us intimately 
in his design of all things, earth itself and in creation, that he knew us. And uh, the, the mind-blowing part of this that I really want you to try to enter into as we move forward is that God knowing you, knowing you personally, and he has a plan in your life. And in, in the grand scheme of things, we talked about the enormity of his creation. We talked about the fall of man. We talked about the flood, Noah and the ark, and all of those things. And that the God of all creation, before all of that happened, knew you by name. The hairs of your head are numbered, and if you're bald, he knew what was there before they're gone. Amen? That's real. You too. Okay, amen? Got you covered, man. The reality of it is that's true, and it's so enormous that we can't get our mind wrapped around it. Listen, you can introduce me to somebody in the foyer, and I forget who they are by the time I get to the pulpit. You hear what I'm telling you? Because I'm frail, and I'm getting older, and I'm not God. But he knew before the foundations of the earth, you by name, there was going to be a day and a time that you'd be here on planet earth. And that the things that are unfolding around us, that we are active participants in his plan. Now, whether you understand that or not, you're still on the playing field. You hear what I'm telling you? I don't hear anybody say amen to anything. Whether you understand that or not, you are active participants. You are on the field. Do you hear what I'm telling you? All right. So, so these things are happening around us, and we could admit, you know, very clearly that society as we know it is decaying before your eyes. Amen? You're going to have to make some noise for me. But that's reality. This week we talked about God's design, Him being the Creator, Him designing, creating us. We also talked about Jesus. You know, from the cradle to the cross. His position as Savior. Him being Emmanuel, God with us, coming on the scene and living amongst man. Going through this journey and knew who he was going to pick as disciples. And one of those disciples betrayed him. His name was Judas. And he was part of a plan that was bigger than anything we could imagine. It was bigger than the disciples could, could even fathom in their wildest imaginations because their minds were on a track 